All right, well, I got some great news tonight. I was able to replicate John Bedini's uh, Earthlight, the the whole enchilada, and uh, really neat. I, I made a big battery, and this is the big one that uh, he has shown, and this is Laser Saber's idea, but uh, somebody else, I think it was Pirate or Bill or Bill or, or somebody or Mark Hale or somebody, mentioned these charcoal water filter elements that you can get at Lowe's and they are uh, compressed carbon and man did that make a great battery and you just take off the uh, stuff that's on there and you wrap it with felt like John said to do and then you wrap it up with this uh, magnesium ribbon that you can get it on eBay and man what a battery that makes and that's running this thing straight up um, there's no modification of that circuit whatsoever in fact I've got uh, inductors little chokes that aren't quite right but uh, look at the milliamps that that thing's pumping out it's pumping out 21 milliamps that doesn't sound like a lot folks but when you're working with these kinds of things that run on uh, moisture that is something else and that little guy over there is only putting out about a milliamp and it's running that pulse motor. It's been running that pulse motor for a long time and uh, that difference between the size of that and the size of that is huge. I can run most of my projects that work on a AA battery on that battery right there. A lot of my stuff works down there around a milliamp now. If I can't get it to run down uh, under 100 milliamps, I don't think I'm doing very good on a AA battery. I can probably run exciters off that, the Jewel Ringer, uh, some of my little Bedini SSG, uh, Bob and Bedini type of spinner motors will run off that, and uh, that's a huge success. And uh, you have to buy these two at a time. It was like $11.50 at Lowe's Hardware Store. It's a Whirlpool filter, and uh, the the part number is uh, 149010 it's a whirlpool a charcoal water filter and like I say you take it apart it comes apart pretty easy you take this stuff off of it wrap it up in felt and then just start spiraling this magnesium ribbon on it and uh, it's wonderful and it's hollow inside now John mentioned making one of these things with a magnesium rod on the inside and I'm sure that would work just as well and uh, I haven't done any temperature readings on this. I'm going to let this run for a day or two and see what happens. But all I did once I built it was put distilled water on it. And uh, uh, the felt soaked it up right away. And that's all I'm going to use on this is distilled water. It puts out 1.75 volts at that milliamp load. And to me, that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> compared up to the stuff that I've built so far and like I say that's running this thing right there just phenomenally and um, very happy with this thing uh, this uh, earth light that John's come up with in conjunction with laser sabers battery that John has worked on and that now I've worked on is making a real winner scenario anyway I'm anxious to see the new circuit John for this uh, I know you're you're trying to tell me how to build it I'm confused on how to do that but hopefully you'll let uh, let me know how to build the uh, the new circuit for this light thanks for watching guys good day here